Hi Scorpios, I'm already extended, but let me give the gist of this. If you're dealing with a person, so you don't you know, waste your time in the YouTube. If you're dealing with a person who you feel like you are karmically connected and no matter what, for some reason you guys are bound, this is the reading for you. Now, I'm just going to give you the gist already. There was the emperor was clarified with the emperor over there. Three emperor comes, came in. Um, the sun is clarified also with the sun. I mean, the serving of this, uh, this, this spread is just overwhelming. It was magical. It was giving us all the right answers that you could be probably searching and looking for. It is a must-see. If you're connecting with someone that you feel that well, for whatever reason, it is never over and we keep coming back into the same lifetime, life cycle. Okay, but watch the YouTube reading first and then follow me in extended. Um, it's grounding. It's something that I wanted for you to have, I feel. You deserve this, I think. Okay, I'll see you guys again. Watch the YouTube reading first and then go to extended. All the good vibes running through my mind. Nothing can stop me, I'm on a high. All the good vibes running through my mind. Hi Scorpios, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. How are you? If you see anything at the back, okay, it's not Spider-Man. It's just the gardeners, okay? <laughs> the see, I didn't start because they're gonna blow the air and it's gonna be loud. Now they started. Okay, I thought they left. Okay, so um, without further ado, let's begin. Okay, let's see. Scorpios, what do you have for me? Make sure you sign to my email list, guys. Eatreadlove.me. Go there. Um, let me start with this one first. Okay, so Scorpios, how are you? What's up in the world? What's down in the underworld? <laughs> yeah, that's the greeting for you guys. What's up in the world, down in the underworld? Ah, let's see here. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Okay. See what you have. All tied up. I sense feeling of frustration then. Not being able to move. So now you're just channeling the, be the best side of you. You're still in love with someone here, man, holding a heart. And then you have the door to value. I feel like you, you're, you're trying to make up your mind whether to choose to be dating, be involved with someone... Or just embrace the goodness of the coins, Scorpio. What is it? Is this person even worth it? This is what you're asking yourself. Because for you to be invested, then there's going to be a lot of sacrifice. So you're doing what we call, you're pulling a Gemini where, I don't know. I can't decide yet. Okay, You're not pulling a Taurus where there's no decision. <laughs> I'm kidding. You got a thinking woman, okay? You got adjacent possibilities. Walking away. There's so many distractions today. I can't, okay? Um, we got packages being delivered over here and there, okay? You got woman holding a coin, walking away. Yeah, so you're all about your coins, your anda, your dinero. Okay, that's the I Ching right there. You have walking away. Okay, you're thinking of walking away to this person, but yet you're still involved with them. You tried to eliminate the person, but you're still having dreams with them. You've been thinking about this person constantly. Why? Why? For whatever reason, you are connected with them. Okay? Because you tried to disconnect, walking away, only to find out that you're walking in the same person. Okay? I don't sense an ex if it's an ex, but it's the same person. You've been dealing with the same person, period. Um, you want more abundance here. Okay? Um, we're do we're releasing new new collection for um the house. The fountains are back. If you guys are wondering, the fountains and the lamps are back. Okay, 
yesterday. So you can check it out for for your home. Okay, the abundance, but it's always limited. It's always we always carry a small stack of that. Okay, because it's hard to get a hold of. Okay, um, so you're thinking more of investing. Okay, this is where you are torn. It's like you're you're torn with your time, because you do like someone, but you feel that well, I like to make my coins. I like to secure the bag, but it, for some reason, it's still gonna work out. I don't sense here that you cannot manage both. Okay. But let's see. Okay. Let's see what the Scorpio has. You got the Nine of Wands. Okay, so you're tired, Scorpio. You're tired. You feel like every day is the same day working. Okay. This is a moon in Sagittarius. You try to be as optimistic as you can, but you feel like there's so much obstacles and struggle every time if you see there, right? He's wounded warrior. Um, you feel like you feel that there's never a chance for you to um to even take a break. This is what you're having, Scorpio, today. You want to take a time out. Ah. Oh. You see, I said, like you, for some reason, you're still tied up. For some reason, you're still tied up. You have the devil, okay? Of course, the devil is a shackle. The devil is a, you know, something that is binding. Okay. I hope they would close the door at the back because I can hear the noise. I'm sorry if you're hearing it. Okay. We have the devil, which only means that, again, you walk in, out, it's the same person that you've been dealing with, with the um, with the devil. So you're so tired of dealing with this person. Okay. Is anybody at the back? Can we close the door? <laughs> no one at the back. Okay. The nine of wands. Okay, so it's a competition. I swear today. Okay, I'm so out of it already. Okay. <laughs> The devil is out, Sal. The devil is out. Okay. <laughs> so with the devil over here, it feels like it's a shackle. Yeah, I smile when I'm upset. Nah, I'm just like, I'm done. Like, I give up. I fold. It's like, do whatever you guys want. Okay. I surrender. Uh -uh. I just got to do my work. Okay. So the devil is here. Of course, here he is now on my side. Okay. The test of my patience okay, is right here. Mm -hmm. Um, so clearly, okay, your energy feels bound. You know, you got all tied up, like what I showed you already. Can't let go. It's not about you can't let go. For some reason, there's a touch and you're tired of this. Nice. We love a good will of fortune. Okay. <laughs> so this, okay, is the will of fortune, which only means that things are about to get better. Things are about to, how to say it? Because this is your manifestation. Okay. This is your understanding. Like, look at that. It's like set this whole sphere, circle right here. It's It feels like there's something that you are about to unlock. Very mystical, this, this deck. Okay. You have, I feel like you will have a time for a celebration in abundance. I see here that there will be... Um, a fortunate turn of events from feeling I feel like stuck with the devil then there will be now a removal of blockages okay now you have a dominion which feels um, this is the part where um, I feel like the person is still watching and stalking you okay it feels like they have um, they they have an agenda, okay? They have a plan, okay? They are trying actually to see you. Someone wants to see you again. Oh, yeah. And extend themselves. Ace of Pentacles. A new beginning. That's the coin. That's a God-given opportunity. Someone is going to extend. I told you. Okay. It's a symbol. It looks like the same. Ace of Pentacles with the Wheel of Fortune there. Looks like the same. 
So an offer comes from a person that you feel like it is never ending story. Okay. It just keeps going in circles. And there it is. Six of Pentacles. Okay. Now, it looks like you will entertain, you will talk to them. This can be a Capricorn, this can be a Sag, right? This is a moon in Taurus. Okay, so now we're raking in the wall. Okay, let's rake the wall. <laughs> Six of Pentacles and the Devil. It feels like you... You're about to do what you rarely would do. And it's like to give someone a chance as they reach out. This is coming. Ace of Cups. Okay, so look at that. <laughs> They're behind me in the bushes. Okay. Ace of Cups. Okay, that's my co-star. Okay. Um, Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. It feels like um, you will get offer and left and right from this person. It's a new beginning. Um, with the Ace of Cups, this is what is going to be turning. Okay. Someone is going to express their feelings and love. You may have options and choices by this time. You can have two people. With the sun, that's a yes. There can be a Leo. The sun is in Aries. Also can be an Aries or another Scorpio. The person is looking at you. You are thriving. You are glowing. Success is yours with the, star, with the sun. With the wheel of fortune, I feel like it can be fame and success. Okay? Sun is recognition, public recognition. The Jupiter is about expansion. So it feels like your money is about to grow and you're also your reputation. Something is going to line up with regards to love. And uh, I see your venture is the Ace of Pentacles also. Okay, let's see. You got the Nine of Cups, which is material success, and you get the Ace of Cups, which means your wish is about to be granted. These are tip of the iceberg, okay? Because there's more to each card, which when I go to the extended, mm -hmm. you're just basically getting the pre, pre-show. Something that you're manifesting is about to happen. Emotional fulfillment. This is a moon in Pisces. You got the daddy emperor, okay? This is Aries. This is Mars. So someone is ready. The sun is in Aries right now. With the sun over here, no more toxicity. It feels like a moment of relief is going to come towards you. Mm -hmm. A vacation is also with the sun card. The way I see this is someone is ready to give you what you have always wanted from them. With the queen of pentacles this you have been invested in this connection for a long time and that's why you feel it's so toxic it has been going for a long time and you are thinking right now why are we still ish together because you're not together together tied up it's like a karma that ties the two of you it's like a soul the souls are bound and binded it's, it's not you know it's a soulmate soul bound like that okay Three of Cups, which is abundance, celebration, and recognition. Happiness is here. Celebration. A relationship is about to manifest from someone that you feel that you are soul bound. Faith has, you know, has you met, I mean, has made this person time and time again that you met this person in different series of lifetimes already. So from past life, present life, past life, present life. And then finally, a good news is revealed. Sun and the Emperor. Those are very positive. Wheel of Fortune is positive. And next, this is the lifetime that is given to you for a chance to make it work. So it could have started as a karmic. Mm -hmm. But now it's ending into a soul connection. You know, from a hard lesson, it becomes lesson learned and then meeting each other eye to eye. But I'll continue this reading, Scorpio. Very magical read. Very deep. Okay. You saw my Mars over there? Okay. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> but I always come back. You know. Okay. So I'll go deeper in each of this. What your soul contract that the bind, what, what binds the two of you, basically. Um, deeper into this. It may be a magical read. We'll see. Well, it is magical right now. But how magical it is as I go. All right. 
So link down there in the description box below for extended. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye guys.